All right, good day. This is 2006 AP free response problem, form B, number four. This is a no calculator problem. I'm gonna cover each part. If there's parts of it, when I say something you can think of, pause the video and pick up from there. This is a graph showing the rate in calories per minute and the independent variable is minutes. And they give a function for the first four minutes, right here. F of t equals negative one fourth t cubed plus three halves t squared plus one. The polynomial portion. There, after that, f is piecewise for the rest of the functions. Zero slope increasing, zero slope decreasing. All right. It starts by saying find f prime twenty two. Indicate units of measure. All right. F prime, the derivative. So we want the slope of the line at 22. Since it's a line, we can just do a secant line and use two points. The average and the instantaneous in this case will be the same. It is a linear piecewise function. So all we have to do is take these two points. And the units will be calories per minute, rise, divided by minutes, run, rise over run. If we do that math, you should get that F prime 22 is negative 3 calories per minute squared. Does that make sense? When I look at the graph, yeah, it is sloping downward. So that would be part A. Part B, and I'm shrinking this back. For the time interval, 0 to 24, at what time t is F incre increasing at its greatest rate? Show the reasoning that supports your answer. Okay. When is F increasing at its greatest rate? All right. F is going to increase here. It increases here. It increases here. It increases in two intervals, 0 to 4 and 12 to 16. All right. I'm going to deal with the 0 to 4 point first, okay? So the question really is this. Where is f prime greatest for the piecewise function? Between 0 and 4 or 12 to 16? Somewhere in 0 to 4. All right? If we're going to do this, we have to answer this. If we're looking for the greatest rate of the biggest change, we're going to have to find when f prime is a maximum. All right? Which means we better step back and figure out the first derivative of the piecewise function. Okay? From 0 to 4, it's that. It was that polynomial it gave us. And if I'm going to find the maximum, I want that to be maximized, I will need the second derivative. All right? So I take the first and second derivative of f prime. All right? That steps us into this. We are looking at f prime for a max. That occurs when? If we're looking for f prime to be max, that occurs with f prime prime goes positive to negative. And I always think of the curve, all right? It's a point of inflection, too, in this case, but we're not so much worried about that, all right? But again, we have to find this point. Well, if I'm going to find that point where it goes positive to negative, I am pretty interested in where it's going to be zero. So I'm going to back up and set this whole thing f prime prime to zero. And when I do that, I get a value of t equals 2. And I can quickly find the rate by plugging 2 into f prime for 2. And I'm going to get that that's 3 calories per minute squared. All right? That is the rate that it is changing. All right? The question becomes, we recognize this as a maximum because f prime prime goes from positive to negative. The question is, is that greater than the piecewise portion, portion part? All right? And again, if I pull these down and work down the page, we know from the graph, and I'll go back, it is positive between 12 and 16 also. So we have to see what the slope is there. Well, it's linear, and it's constant. So I just picked a value in between 12 and 16. I said, hey, f prime of 13, using the points again, just like method A. I find the slope is 3 half. That is not greater than 3. I have now proven f prime of 2 is the greatest rate of change. All right, when it's increasing the most. So the rate is a max at t equals 2. 
because f prime prime goes positive to negative, and f prime of 2 is greater than the slope of 3 halves. And that should give you an answer of b. And again, we'll score these in class, all right? Finally, parts, or no, two more parts, letter C. Find the total number of calories burned over the time interval from 6 to 18. Again, my first step here is think of units. Check the units. Calories per minute, minute. If I take calories per minute times minutes, I'll get calories. That is the area under this curve, all right? So we definitely want to do area under the curve, which means we want to do the integral from 6 to 18 of f of t dt. All right, I come back up. I would do it this way. Again, I would imagine the AP will do a trapezoid, but I would do a rectangle. Let's see, this would be 6 by 9. I would do a triangle and a rectangle, which would be 4 by 9. And 4, 15 minus 9 is 6. And finally, it goes to 18. So it's 2 by 15. All right, those are the shapes. I think I can get it all in here. And if I take away and I click this, I have a rectangle 9 by 6. I have the other rectangle 4 by 9. I have the triangle 1 half 4, 9 minus 6. Or 15 minus 9 is 6. And finally, I have the last rectangle 15. And again, that will give me 132 calories when I sum it. And that would be the amount of calories burned. Last part, D. The side of the machine has now changed so that you burn F of T plus C calories more. All right? So you're going to actually shift this curve up C calories. All right? For this setting, find C so the average, the average of the function, is fif of 15 calories per, per minute is burned during the interval of 6 to 18. Again, 6 to 18. We have to know how many calories we're burning total, but they want average. So this is an average function. So I'm looking for the average function from 6 to 18. So 1 over 18 minus 6 times the integral from 6 to 18 of the function, f of t plus c now, dt, has to be 15 calories per minute. And this unit here on this is minutes. All right? When we do this, you're going to quickly see, I put the units on here, these minutes will cancel and you're left finding calories, which is the area under the curve. And again, we can use our integral rules, all right, and break this integral into the two parts. So I break the 618 of f of t plus 618 of c dt. We know this from letter c. It is 132. This is an easy integral. Ct. Evaluate from 18 to 6 is 18 minus 6 of C. Now it is simply algebra time. If we solve this, we find that the average for C has to be 4. You have to increase it by 4 to get it up to the value. I have found C. I go back to make sure there's nothing I have to explain. There isn't. This is a non-calculator portion. Again, watch, and watch it until you feel smooth with it. None of these are that hard of problems. We'd want to get them all, all right?